right. <clears throat> I look towards the orcs and the two humans that we managed to save. There's a lot of fighting outside. There should be some orcs just on their way into here. Meet up with them, see if they can get you out. Okay. With that, um, the two orcs don't really have... They were kind of running on adrenaline in the last bounce, so they don't even really respond to you. They just nod, and they run out to... Run out here. You don't really know where they went. They've got weapons, but... Um, yeah, other than that, you don't really know how they fare, so I'll just say that they kind of run off out of your view. Okay. Okay, and um, with that, um, what do you do now? Uh, do the humans move as well? Um, I was also addressing the humans. Oh, you were addressing the humans, not just the orcs. Okay, yeah, they'll do likewise then. I'll just, yeah, uh... piss off. We don't need any party members. <laughs> Party's full. You know, as a heal magic, we'll take that. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> these civilians do not know how to heal. Let's try. <laughs> Alright, uh, can I move over here and have a look at this? Have a look I'm at what? This is, a, this is a staircase over here? It is a staircase, yes. Can I go up it? Down it. Oh, down? Down it. I know the other way is bad. There's a, there's a battle going on. So, yeah. There's something over here. Blaine, you probably yes. need a sneaky Sermongas. Will you go ahead? Sure. I, I've not gone too well when I've tried. You are very loud. What? <laughs> nothing, nothing. I'm moving like a Tetris piece. <laughs> <laughs> it really does, doesn't it? Okay. So, are you moving forward, Talman? Yes. Okay, and did you say you are going to move stealthily? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, stealth then. And uh, you too. Like, if you're doing likewise. Almost, and that's one. Be enough. You have disadvantage, do you, Blaine? Uh, yes. I thought that is very unfortunate. Really? Um, okay. Yes. <laughs> Why? Because of my, because of my uh, skill mill. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, that's why I said to go ahead. I thought you had well, just a regular roll. So, um, I'm uh. going to say that <laughs> what happens here is as Blaine steps down the stairs, he kind of... Like, Delamon is fine, just going down his ears, but... Um, <laughs> Dude, I'm fucking invisible. I'm in the shadows, <laughs> and then here comes this big clanking human. Blaine just kind of tr trips I'm, on, I'm some, thin man. on some moss. <laughs> and just, <laughs> and just kind of like fall. He just kind of like falls down, clanging loudly for the last uh, three or four steps. And uh, I'd say that he takes uh, one bludgeoning damage from that. One humiliation damage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah humiliation right. damage. I'm fine with that. I mean, that puts you down to an even number now, which I'm fine with. You hear this the small <laughs> sound of flesh slapping in his flesh as Delamon <laughs> face palms. Yeah, <laughs> but fortunately for you, there was nothing in this room to get the attention of all. Just, uh... It, it all worked out. I mean, for the most part, yes. Hi. Next time I uh, remove my armor. Before, just before... Yeah, but what if you kind of <laughs> fail the stealth check and then you're just surrounded by a small army? Wait, wait, yeah. wait, I just need a minute to put my armor back on. <laughs> it's ten minutes, isn't it? It's a bad armor? Like, I don't know. Uh, if you particular armor? armor, you can do it as an action. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna reveal all this. Okay, so this place looks quite minimalistic, but um, it kind of looks a little bit like an infirmary. Looking around, there's just a bunch of makeshift beds. So a couple of them are broken. So there may have been some sort of struggle here. Obviously no more bodies in this immediate area, but no one's here. It isn't looking particularly used. You don't really hear anything coming from this room, although I will say that 
when you get into here, you do hear, in fact, uh, roll perception, uh, one of you. Well, I'm sorry, say one of two in front, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, I mean, I meant Delamon or Blaine, okay. Yeah. Blaine, okay. So, Blaine, as you get into this room, just kind of hear a very, it's almost imperceptible, but just a couple of bangs kind of coming from further ahead, like someone banging on a door. It kind of sounds metallic. And for you to be able to hear the sound at this distance, you'd probably assume that whatever was banging on was probably banging quite hard. So, um, other than that though, not really much activity at present. So, what do you guys do in this room? Um, I will say on the right here, this is a cabinet, or these two things are cabinets. Obviously, you'd have to inspect them closer to see what's in them. Sure. What is it I'm looking at? Uh, which cabinet are you looking these at? These things? I don't know what uh, the cabinets uh, are. It's a broken bed. Ping anything. Oh, these things? Yeah, they're yeah. cabinets in front of. Okay. Yeah, I'll have a look. Why not? Okay, well, investigation. Whilst he's doing that, I would like to come up behind Blaine. I thought you, I thought you were stealthy. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I forgot my armor. I had my armor on. Uh, uh. Okay, on a twelve, um, uh, gentlemen. At first, it doesn't really look like you find anything of particular use, but just towards the back of the cabinet, you do manage to fish out one potion of healing. Hey. Do I know that it's a potion of healing? Um, I'd probably say that it looks similar to ones that you've got previously. The stroke of luck. I took that away. Okay, are uh, you guys looking for anything else in particular? Seeing that uh, Delamon's been rooting through one of those, I'd like to work my way up towards the one over here and root around in it quickly. Just keeping my eye in this direction as well. Are you trying to look around? Are you looking at anything else in the room or just the cabinet specifically? The cabinet, but occasionally glancing over in this direction. Okay, just we'll to make do... sure that's coming. Okay, we'll do the. We'll do the cabinet first, so uh, roll investigation for me, please. So I'm sorry. Um, uh, always the way. Unfortunately, in that cabinet, you don't find anything of value. It looks like in this. I find any pickles. You know, although <laughs> I will probably say that due to the low investigation roll, I will tell you that the reason that you couldn't find anything is because. Most of this corner specifically has been smashed up quite badly, and the bed to the side of you looks to be particularly dark. It looks kind of, just because you saw right next to it, I'm just going to say that just on glass, it's very obviously blood stained with uh, leather straps on the side of it. Right. Sounds like <laughs> a really good time. Okay. Uh. So. Is anyone doing anything else? I look through the last cabinet. Okay, uh, wrong investigation for me. Okay, so let me just decide. It's a room that should have some health supplies. <laughs> Roll for him. Yeah. For fuck's sake. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> there's not much I can do if you guys are rolling it slow. Uh, um, just because I feel pity, I'm going to say that there's another health potion there for you. <laughs> like, um, this seems generous, but considering what you could have gotten... Oh, don't tell me that. But you tell us that all the time. Right. <laughs> you always make us feel bad about the things that we could have had. The things that we didn't do, or the little girls that we didn't save. Ah, I'll wait for it. 
Yeah, you know how it is. Um, incidentally, uh, do you need a uh, catch-up of what's going on, Gwen? I assume Gwen's here. We ran out and we're in this room now. That's pretty much the Yeah, case. basically, cave and shenanigans, everyone aside from you guys are... Well, the civilians and the orcs got away, but everyone else is probably dead, but you're not too sure. You can't currently tell. Okay. I was loud, loud style too. Um, yeah, you basically just clang down the stairs. Yeah, great stealth. Yep. <laughs> Okay, are you guys going to do anything else in this room, or look at anything else? I didn't mention that, I was also trying to look in this direction to see if I could see anything. Looking in that direction to see if you can see anything. Um, I am going to say that from this point onward, you'd probably need light in order to see in this area. Unless you guys have dark vision, of course. <laughs> do you have dark vision? I have dark vision. I believe Zark has. I think we're the outlier D&D party where like everyone doesn't have uh, dark vision. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I, I think there's one one person who has. It's just Zark and I. Uh -huh. Zark, I do as well. Uh, could you oh, just you hold that oh, okay. um, sure, 60 foot for me? Oh, just oh, so I can... you, sorry. Yeah, sorry, just so I can move you yeah, up until that point. So, yeah, I'm going to say that you can see up to here. So. Uh, just a lot of fungus. No, I just said Zach jokes. Ah, oh, there we Holy go. Holy shit, that is a lot of fungus. <laughs> it is a lot of fungus, I just said Some, that. Someone's building a mushroom farm in here. Is it automated? <laughs> Do I see any pistons? Roll no. pistons. I mean, you can roll perception if you want to see <laughs> if you see this. <laughs> I mean, if you want to start bringing Minecraft physics into this, I could say that the rest of the ceiling Bug. in the cave is gravel. Bug, yes. let, me ask, let me ask you a question, and I want it's you to answer honestly. What's the question? Are these, are these exploding mushrooms? Are these mines? No, they're not exploding mines. <laughs> Do you really? I mean, honestly, if yeah. I did that, this would be yeah. over really yeah. quickly. <laughs> Do you really? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> Mm. Alright, so I'll obviously pass on what I see. <laughs> Fungus. Interesting. Um, okay. Right. Right. Arthur, could you do me a favour before you leave this room? Sure. Roll perception chat for me. Fucking swear perception. Fucking swear. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, as you walk out this room, you notice a... what looks like a potion on the floor. It's a yellow bottle, though. It doesn't look like any potion you've ever seen. And when you turn to see what it says, it's just some, like, scribbling in Draconic. Alright, so I wouldn't recognize this draconic. No. I would you... be able to roll intelligence to see if I recognize yeah. it from the writing from the thing. I mean, to be fair, it's kind of like when you've seen the, like, the other notes in draconic. So it's reasonable that you can at least roll intelligence if you recognize it, Zach. Okay, going to roll intelligence. Yeah, you're not completely sure. It kind of looks familiar, but. It's kind of one of those moments where songs on the tip of your tongue. You, you know you know it, but you just can't quite bring it to the front of your mind right now. In that case, I would just twist it towards Leosin and just say, you recognize this? Leosin does actually recognize this. He kind of like cocks his head to the side slightly, though, as if looking a little bit confused. And he just looks back at Arthur and he just goes, it just says, fail safe. Well, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Can I wander, yeah. over, wander over and look at this thing? Yeah, of course you can. Does it appear magical? Does it appear magical? Um, are you Those kind potions of being... are, I think. Like... Um, I mean, if you're using Detect Magic, is it? 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, are you using Detect Magic specifically to see in what aspects uh, it's magical, or are you just trying to, like, roll Arcana or something? Uh, roll Arcana. I don't want to spend ten minutes here doing yeah. Detect Magic. Yeah, go ahead. I mean, that's also fair. 21. Okay. So, you're not really... You can probably tell from this that it's a blend of magic, but also... It's probably... One could probably also discern somewhat what the function of this is. It seems like it's... It's not really a cure. It's more... It seems that from looking at it, it seems like it's more meant to reverse something. But you have no real idea as to what that might be. I mean, with so little so little information on the label, you can only really make wild guesses. At that point, I'd like FRC Delaman kind of being a bit unsure. I'd like to just simply hand it over towards Gwen. You tend to have some interest in herbs, don't you? A bit, yes. Do you have any ideas? Hmm. Did, qu quickly before that, did I get any sense that it is a um, dangerous liquid? Um. Like, if it's exposed to the air? You, no, nothing, <laughs> nothing like that. You could kind of only discern its function, but you probably couldn't really tell specifically how the liquid behave. As I said, Gwen might be able to tell you a bit more about that because it's kind of a mixture between magic and herbalism. That's fine. I was just going to stop her opening the bottle if I thought it was <laughs> <laughs> like alchemist fire or something. <laughs> but go ahead. Again, the same as the others first looking at the outside, seeing if I can recognize anything about the liquid. Like how liquid or how Um, is it really a liquid liquid, or is it kind of slow moving? It's, if it's kind of like the vis viscosity like more, of it. More like water, more like molasses. Kind yeah, of I, I know what you're trying to say. Um, it's, um, it's a bit syrupy. But yeah, it's still definitely, still definitely a liquid. Um, if you want to kind of discern anything more specific about it, um, like, probably roll because you kind of have advantage with it, identifying anything related to herbs, don't you? I don't so. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know that there, there's a specific rule to it. It's like, it's my, my character's main thing, but... I don't know that there's... that it's anything that's in the D&D rules. It might just be a flavor thing. Yeah. I'd say still... Still of all nature, regardless if you want to learn more about it. So my, my focus is most medicine, technically, so... Medicine, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, nice. well, medicine, then, in that case. Um, <sighs> or maybe not! Oh, just not today. Um, May our old nature not too far to count, but just to see? Um, I just want to see the result, please. I'm actually going to say that the reason that you got so low is because upon inspecting this a little bit closer... Oh, are you going to... Oh, God. No, 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 this was uh... just for me, because I wanted uh... to know... Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, the reason... Sorry. Well, I am going to say that the reason... That's why that... I said it's... it's... <laughs> yeah. Well, so low is because this is actually quite abhorrent to you. Because... I would imagine that you've got quite... I mean, I'm just going to make an assumption here that you... I would assume that you would take offence to people who would use herbs to harm people. Or to do oh, things yes. that would be considered by some as unnatural. That is not what I'm saying, of So, yeah, even though that this seems to be a liquid that would reverse that, you can tell that whatever... Whatever this was meant to reverse would be something that you would never even entertain the thought of doing. And frankly, considering just the sheer mixture of herbs in here, you 
can only assume that whatever was done to warrant this kind of concoction must have been quite significant. Well, it's not something one wants to mess with, that's for sure. Right. I would like to take this. Uh, keep place. hold of it for a second. So, yeah. You guys lead forward. I can do something whilst we move. And once I've done that, I am going to start the ritual cast identify whilst we're moving. How long is that? It will be 10 minutes. Okay. Right. I'd say whilst we're moving. Whilst we're so. moving. Okay. Yeah. Right, so I am going to just tell you now, because of the amount of fungus in this room, this is considered difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you guys have a means of seeing, as I say, from this point forward, you will need either dark vision or a light source to see properly? I'm using produce plane. Okay. Um, I'm using it as it runs out, so it's, it's a cantrip. I can renew it. It runs for 10 minutes. So I'll, I'll be reusing it as me. Right. I would also like to see um, if those, what stage those mushrooms are in at the grows. Like, are they still growing? Are they fully grown? Are they past? Um, various. There's that many of them, you probably could. Like, they're not all growing at the same rate, if that's what you're trying to discern. Is it all the same mushroom? It's kind of a mix of fungus, like, this is the only sprite I had for, for it, but it's just kind of a, a mix to a various fungi. I'd like to harvest some. Okie doke. Um, so probably survival for harvesting? Uh, you tell me. Well, yeah. Sorry. I. Kind of phrase that as a question, but yeah, I was just kind of comparing that to myself. Okay, you do manage to harvest some up. Probably have to maybe spend some time to look over this to just see if it's kind of got any curative properties or anything that could potentially be like manufactured into any sort of poison if you would want to do anything like that. Right now, I want to harvest them and keep them in bags and have them with me for a later study. That okay. I will not okay. slow down the group further. So yeah, fair enough. Harvesting well, as we walk, like yeah, along I, our paths. I'll just say that you got a bunch of mushrooms. If you want me to give a specific number, I'll just say maybe about. Uh, in fact, roll a d10 for me. And giant mushrooms. Okay. Um, you got you got a couple of mushrooms, like s the ones that you tried to harvest specifically were kind of coming towards the end of their life cycle. But within eighteen, you know, within eighteen, I'd say double that. So you get four. Four. Yeah. Okay. I think that's fair. <clears throat> okay, who's leading the group going into this room? By the way. I'll turn back to Gwen real quick. Are these fungi dangerous? Well, I'm not suggesting you eat them, but I can't see anything about them that will uh, attack us. I am uh, wondering of the spores. They are variously close to us. Uh, well, I think these spores would be dangerous to breathe in. Being so that they would be dangerous for us to walk by. Roll perception. Okay, so on a 13, I would say that... Boo, 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 boo. Just uh, do this. You do see one fungi that looks... Like it could be quite harmful if you went near it. Although, because there's so many in the room, you can. If there's any more, 
the kind of buried under, well, more fungus. Well, you can, can you tell. See that one? Solomon, see that one over there? That's one we should not try to mess with. I'm sneezing in real life from the mushroom spores in game. This mess. Do I spot I any more of, of yeah, that one? There's kinds in here I haven't encountered yet. Okay. So who's at the front of the group right now? I am right now since I stepped in the room. Okay, with you stepping in the room, where did you harvest the mushrooms uh, background? Was it kind of around this channel area? Kind of like near to the doorway? Did you move further in? Uh, pro yeah, near the doorway. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, gentlemen, as you walk into the room a little bit further, I just want you to roll a perception check for me. Okay, so on a 15, as you start to walk in, you kind of just... Something kind of like just catches the top of your peripheral vision, and as you look up, you can see just swarms and swarms of bats resting on the ceiling here. Not making any oh. sound, and kind of like now you're aware of them, you can tell that there's sort of like very soft squeaking. Uh, I don't think we should go in here. I'll just turn to the turn to the group and just point up. I'm just focusing on casting, so I'm I don't I don't look up. <laughs> oh, but there's bats in there. Not particularly fond of the creatures myself. Yeah. Stay quiet and keep moving. Then we should be fine. They're just bats. Okay, so are you guys actually moving into them, or are you waiting for your ritual cast to complete first, Arthur? I say I was going to be doing this whilst I'm moving anyway, so... Okay. So... Look for everyone else. Okay. I'm just waiting on you guys to see what you want to do next. Well, I guess I'll start to move into the room. Right. Okay, so... Do we if you... have a particular reason to go? You want to go outside into the bathroom? This could be another way out. No, sorry, I, w I was asking out of character. Oh. Okay, out of character. Do you want to go into the battle? Or... <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I was just asking if there was a reason given to go down that way while I was away. That's uh... no. I mean, the only okay. the only good, object. Good. Yeah, fair enough. That's all I needed to know. Sorry. Okay. So, did you say you're mm -hmm. moving in a bit further into the room, Dalman? After seeing the bats. Do we want to proceed this way? Lisa? Any input you can give? <laughs> Bug. Sorry, what were you asking me? Leeson. Oh, Leeson, sorry, I didn't hear, hear the name. Okay. Yeah, Leeson just takes a couple of steps forward. He looks down into the room and he just says, kind of just um, kind of echoing the conversation that you guys were just having out of character and he just says um, well hi the eggs are still in here somewhere and frankly if we even if we go out into that battle and survive if we let them leave here they present a much greater future threat than 
well, frankly, anything that's happening here right now. And, well, aside from which, I would probably like to learn a little bit more about what the Cove's future plans might be. Sorry, I, I don't think I've really explained who I am to you yet, have I? I think I might have introduced myself briefly, but um, I was investigating the Cove for the half is up here for quite some time. But, uh, as you can see, I unfortunately got captured. But... The room that we were in a few minutes ago... I, I don't know, I... I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Where were they keeping all the treasure? Like, they must have accumulated quite a bit here, so... It stands to reason that it still must be stashed somewhere, that was the whole point. I don't think there's anything to be gained going outside, but I think we stand to find out more and, well, hopefully an exit if we press on. What do we know? It's this cave. Only cave that really seems to be connected to anything other than the wider cave, well, the wider cave systems. I mean, I know that the orcs that came to Busy me and myself sometimes use the caves towards the back of the camp to travel quickly between, well, the camp and the home the cave that I was in and, well, your friends were being kept in. Didn't really seem to have any sort of obvious exit. I mean, I suppose, yes, it is entirely possible that it could be in a different cave, but there seems to be, well, at least, there was a lot of activity here up until quite recently, so... Safe Money probably tells me that whatever we're looking for is probably around here. Somewhere. We haven't seen any other ways deep into the cave. So... Unless there was some exit from the fighting pit we didn't see. Possibly. I mean, I didn't go in there. Please. This must have been a way they have gone. They have been through here. Whatever's in here, in this room, we can probably pass it. Yes, uh, I mean, you if spot... If they can, we can. Yes, 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 you're right. That does, that does stand to reason. Uh, how long has Past Five Away been me ritual casting so far? Um... How long does your ritual cast take? About 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say that down in sort of guy. Um, I mean, nothing's really come if you guys, so I can just say that the ritual cast <laughs> is... It's done, if you just want to mm. do that now. So what specifically are you trying to find out about this? I want to know exactly what it is. Trues identifies should be able to do Yeah, I just meant... Like, if I kind of like tell you everything, is there any specific detail you want to know? What it do. Okay. <laughs> it's to reverse... It seems like this is meant to reverse some form of biological engineering. As if whatever sort of... It seems to be like that somebody was given something that made them go undergo some sort of physiological change. You can probably tell that it kind of seems like it would increase somebody's rate of healing. But by an absurd amount, like to the extent that if they were damaged, they could almost instantaneously recover from the wound within reason. Oh, negative effect. Well, you don't really know, you just know what this is meant this is what this is meant to do, is meant to reverse that. But okay. because but you can't from the cure understand exactly what it you just know that well this is to remove some sort of healing factor, but you don't know how potent the healing factor would be or exactly what the, its drawbacks would be if it has drawbacks, but you can just draw your own conclusions. If there was a fail safe, there might be a reason for it. 
with two drop. Okay. I'll uh, pass this on once I uh, think what it is, and then I will offer it over to Gwen now. I will carefully take this away, like wrap it in some paws, something that I have in my bundle. Mm -hmm. Keep it in my bag. <clears throat> We're moving forward. Can I look at the ground looking for tracks? If people move through here? You can by all means, yeah. No survival. Okay, on an 18, I would say that like anyone who was just kind of like looking at the ground normally probably wouldn't really be able to tell just, you know, considering how much fungus is listening in the ground fire. But you can tell that quite a lot happened here recently. Probably, I would say, not long before you came in to the cave. The tracks are relatively new. You can see several tracks kind of going out here. You could probably assume that they were the tracks of the cultists that you found dead earlier on. You also see some larger tracks as well that look quite different from the others and that seems to be quite erratic it seems to run out into this area and then it kind of doubles back through through the cave you kind of lose the tracks you can probably tell up until about this point that the tracks go this way but any further than that i would say uh, well, that's beyond your field of vision. Alright. You'd probably, ha I'd say, considering it's going into the mushrooms, you would probably have to roll survival again when you get to about this point to see if you can pick up the trail from there. Yeah, alright. Okay, anything else, guys? No, I was waiting for someone to move. I'm trying to stay back, given I know I am not stealthy. Um, okay, I'm moving. Let me make sure we're Okay. Uh, Delman, as you. I'm going to kind of just do some order. Delman, roll stealth for me. This is just generally moving through the room, I'm not going to have you roll this several times. Okay. So, um, Gwen, roll next. Okay. And then, Blaine, roll. I'm not being stealthy. Oh, you're not being stealthy. No, I'm, I have armor on. <laughs> Um, um, I learned my lesson. Talking. I learned my he's, lesson. He's there, just going, dong, dong, dong. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to make a note for a couple of things. Yeah. Okay. I doubt it matters anymore at my role. <laughs> um, not not quite. As I say, just ever, I'll just wait for everyone else to do it. So, um, Alpha, you roll, please. Yeah, did you have disadvantage? Because of your armor? I, my armor, yeah. Everyone has disadvantage on stealth, or most of them do. Actually, I've got to Zark as well, actually. Yeah, I know Zark. Oh, I know Zark needs still to roll mine, well. then. I mean, you might as well. Okay, fair enough, so I've got plus two. And, uh, yeah, okay. Right, so let me just see how many of you passed, so... Okay. Okay. So, what happens is this. You guys okay. start moving through the room. Delman manages to get through the room just fine. You don't manage, like the bats, just are completely nonplussed by your presence, and you manage to move through just fine. Um, Gwen, unfortunately, as you move through, you do manage to 
sorts of like um like kim i'm just trying to think how you would actually do this in this situation um i'd say that you kind of like catch your foot on some of the fungus and you stumble forward slightly and the bats do kind of start like jostling about a little bit but don't react right away um arthur you manage to just about stop yourself from doing the same thing. Zark is apparently like a cat, just manages to move through. I don't think that's the right analogy, but never mind. And um, Blaine, surprisingly, is okay. So it seems that you start with the bats a little bit, but ultimately you just about manage to stop yourself from from waking them. Um, I will say that um, Delamon, Blaine, Zach, and Arthur roll perception. Again, I'm just doing this for the whole room just so we don't have to keep doing these checks over and over. Okay. Wait, I was trying to persuade the room just then. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, perception, the room. Ah, it seemed worse. <laughs> Right, okay. I tried to convince the room to tell me where things were, but it didn't work. So, are you guys actually moving any further into the room than this, or...? Yeah, it would have been following in turn behind Delamon. So Delamon, how far are you going? Are you going any further? I can't see the rest of the room. So I don't oh, know. but I mean, were you, would you go further if I revealed more of the room? Sorry, is what I meant yes. to say. Okay, yeah. uh, could you just mark 60 feet for me? Let's just reveal that. So, yeah, basically, you can see this, and yeah, Ooh. you can. You basically can see most of this room. So, how much farther up would you move, Delman, just so we can kind of see where the party would stop? Um, does there seem to be less? I've been moving around the edge. Is there less? Fungi around the edges of the room? Or? Um, yes, I would say so. Most of the fungus is densely concentrated on the sensor. I want to. I want to try and try and stick to the edges as much as I can. Then. In fact, that will. Oh, let me just. Uh, try to do that. I would say. Okay, Delamon, moving up to that point, I am going to show you what's in this room. <laughs> so that is 14, and then... Just bounce it there. So yeah, you you see quite a few guys in this room here. So oops, so I would say that you see all of this. I'm gonna quickly step back. <laughs> okay, I'd say that if you step back immediately they won't see. That yeah. was probably quite close. Um, okay, so with perception, what did you all get for perception? So I think okay, so Dolman rolled a six, Blaine an eight, and Arthur a seven. Right, so I'm going to say, let me just uh, get this up here. Boop, 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 boop. Sorry, I'm just uh, grabbing something real quick. So, um, anyone who rolled below... Yeah, anyone who rolled below... Okay, so 8 and 7. 
I'm going to already know. So, yep, so Dalaman, Blaine, and Arthur, unfortunately, as you move through this room, you do catch yourself on a little bit more of that uh, dangerous looking fungus. So I'm just going to, so it's going to just do a roll to hit on each of you. Right, okay, so I'm going to do it in order. So does 11 hit Dalaman? No. Okay, does 15 hit Blaine? No. And uh, 18 doesn't hit Arthur, does it? Beats it, beats it. Beats it, beats it, that's unfortunate. Come on, Derek. So you take, well, just one necrotic damage. So, yeah, that could be nice. You know how <sighs> you, you're not really doing out. well with... <laughs> We're just with the chip damage tonight, are you? No, no, no. Got them chips, they're too hot. They really are. Okay, but um, other than that, uh, you guys move through this room without much incident. So, um, which way do you guys want to go now? So there's three directions open to you. All I've seen is Delaman suddenly jump back at Yeah, the, so Delaman just so. kind of like jumps back around the corner. I'd probably say that he managed to just peer around the corner into that room, so yeah, there's a there's a few guys in there. Shh Quiet More of the Dragon Kin in here. Do I see like these guys here? Mm -hmm. I can't tell from that token. Do I, have they got an egg? Shield. <laughs> it's a big shield? Okay. Yeah. I couldn't tell. My, are they with a fucking dragon egg on the shield? <laughs> no, no. They're not just holding the dragon eggs out in the open. I'm not going to make it that simple. <laughs> they're using us the shield. <laughs> they're using the eggs as shields. <laughs> Quite matchy. Yeah, I mean, it could be tough eggs, for all you know. Oh, it's too late to crack. Hey. Hey. You must be yoking, right? <laughs> oh. Uh. oh wow. Hey, get out. Do we wanna yeah. fight or do we wanna scramble? Oh, scramble. <laughs> Zach wasn't around. I mean you don't have Why? To... Zach would have made probably about five more <laughs> fun jokes. <laughs> There's more. More of the dragon kid in this room. Do we avoid them? Bush. If we don't deal with them, they might come back towards us someplace we make a lot of sound somewhere else. We're getting open in Selva. Um, could I take a look at the ceiling if I see any more groups of bats in this direction, or if they were all towards the entrance? The bats are kind, were kind of all around the room. You'd probably, like, moving through the room as you have been, obviously isn't going to, like, rouse them very much, and the fighting earlier on was far enough away that it wasn't going to get their attention from there, but I would probably say quite confidently that if you start fighting in just the next room, you will probably start to win. Would they go after us if we're not moving? Don't know. Unless you're a bat mind reader. Is there anything metallic in there? Are you asking no, me as a DM side? No, I'm asking Delaman. Okay, I'm, I've not seen around the corner yet. I, I I don't know, is there? <laughs> what um, do I see in there? <laughs> I mean, if you kind of just caught yourself, like, kind of took a cursory glance and moved back, I would say that you didn't really see anything. Um, I'm going to say that if you want to look around the corner since these guys... I mean, you don't actually know which way they're facing, you didn't really have time to look, but if you go around the corner, I'm probably going to make you all stealth to kind of walk at them without being noticed. 
For instance, the shields. <clears throat> What's your plan? We can make a lot of noise in there. We might be able to draw the bats into the... We called upon the right man. Leeson's going to chime in at this moment and he's just going to say to you, Arthur, listen, I know I've not been that helpful so far, but you're looking pretty hurt. Maybe, maybe I could start pulling my weight a bit. Means, what can you do? Um, I, I I can hit things really really hard. And he just kind of like looks at you blankly, like really, like I can hit things really hard, fast. Like in, like you, he kind of like just does like a punching motion to kind of like better illustrate his skill sets and he kind of just keeps looking towards you and he, he, he doesn't really know what to say. He can basically hit things. That's essentially it. Would you say he can do uh, a lot of blows in quick succession? Say a flurry? No. <laughs> I mean, he could do two. Well, yeah, he's like, he knows how to fight a little bit, but... Yeah, he want like, bless his little con socks, he wants to help people, he's probably not going to be so. We might call on you oh, soon, just... just boo Bowie for a second. Okay, okay I'll, 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 I'll follow your lead. Follow you, your lead. you were thinking more like throwing a rock, right? Not punching? Tell him. Do you have a way of making noise? Mm, I do. And I'll wake the bats up, get them in the direction of those things down there. I could try. And then at that point, I'd probably gesture towards everyone to just kind of hug the wall and get down. Okay. Uh, Leosin will follow your leads. Mm -hmm. And as uh, uh, I imagine, will probably since he has no reason to to run off on his own right now. <laughs> All right, about there in the, hang on. Pretty much right in the middle of that trio in the front. Uh, I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion and make like a, I don't know, what, what kind of noise would get bats to move? Something loud, booming probably. Explosive. Fine. I'll just make a loud. Uh, I'll make a loud drum, drum, beat noise. With okay. minor illusion. Huh. Okay. So um, yeah, you make. Where did you say the sound was censored on, Delman? Sound was censored on there. Okay, so these three here just look towards the center. You hear this guy just go, What's in blazes? And before he can really react anymore, the bats do suddenly stir from the restless slumber and they just pour into this room here. Also, with the bats, there were also some Sturges with them. Oh. Who also <laughs> go towards the room as well. Oh, I just oh, need oh. to um, grab them here. Second. So, oh, I'm fucking glad we didn't disturb those. So, you guys like giant mosquitoes, right? <laughs> no. Yeah, you no. probably... The death mosquito? Pretty much. I'm going to actually, I kind of did less tokens here just for simplicity's sake, but I think I made it so that each one of these are two Sturges. Oh god. So yeah, they start to move into these guys. 
So, yeah, the bats are in there, and I would say they're distracted right now. So, what do you want to do? You want to wait to see who's the victor, or um, what? Uh, what race is Leoson? Leoson, he is an elf. Okay, Dalaman doesn't uh, remember names well. You, the elf over here. Leeson kind of looks around <laughs> for a it's moment. Kind of racist. In spite of the fact that he is literally the only elf here. Yep, he's the only elf here. And uh. he just uh, moves over to um, Adelman and he just goes, Oh, yes! S sorry, I'm quite new to this. Well, what is it? Would they be keeping the eggs in there? Um, Leeson just glances past your shoulder and he just looks into the room where there's just a flurry of bats and like just people waving their swords and shooting fireballs wildly at the other guys who goes um maybe we could try the the, the, the other ways first uh i i have i'm i am rather the pessimist but uh let's move quickly then yeah so okay which way it's across the room Stairs. So you're going to go this way? Yeah. Okay, so as you get to I'm just going to this as you get to the door here, you can like I can't really illustrate this too well unfortunately. But there seems to be an iron door here. Really well fortified. Much more fortified than pretty much anything else in this place. It's kind of odd really. It's almost like it was put here for a reason. And does he look friendly? What was that sign? That looks friendly. Leosin steps forward to inspect the door. Oh, are you dragging him back, Carver? I thought you were in there. Sorry. Oh, right, sorry, I was just trying to put him about there. Like I said, there's a door in the way, so... And he just kind of inspects it for... for a long moment. Just kind of, Basically trying to discern if this is kind of what you're looking for. And... just... goes, hmm... No, no, this... this doesn't... this doesn't seem right, um... You know, actually, now you met, now think about it. It's a bit cold here, isn't it? Leoson kind of just says out loud to the rest of you. Um, I suppose um, one of you all perception, see if you can kind of think. Um, Fifteen. Oh, apparently, Gwen's quite thick skin. Um, that's quite well. What are you talking about? But he kind of like puts um, a hand on the door, and as he does so, kind of it almost sticks to the door actually. <laughs> and he just turns back to Arthur, and he just goes, um, "I, I, I think I might need a hand." Robert, I said Robert's over to get it off. Okay, um, have Robert just make a uh, strand check. Um, no, uh, I gotta look at the stats. I was gonna say plus one, I might be wrong, but. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and roll. Yep, Leosin is stuck in place. Alright, I'll walk over. <laughs> and I'll use prestidigitation. I'll use its effects to. The one that says I can chill or warm an object. Nice. Or warm his hand so it can fucking free from the. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Or I'll warm the door, whatever. <laughs> yeah, one or the other. So, yeah, after a few moments, uh, Leo Sin manages to get his hand off and he just goes, Oh, uh, uh, that, was, that was quite embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if I had to make an educated guess, I would say that this room's some sort of a freezer. 
but I don't. <coughs> but I don't remember anything about the eggs needed to being. In fact, the eggs are kind of more accustomed to a temperate climate. It would be counterintuitive to keep them here. I won't imagine that there's anything else beyond this point, but maybe we should keep. And as Leoson finishes a sentence, you just hear an almighty bang against the door, which causes Leoson to just kind of yelp slightly and take a few steps back. <coughs> and he just goes, What was that? You tell us you're oh, Hey, that. hey, I, I, I don't know exactly what's in this cave. I just. I just know that about the dragon eggs and about the court's activities. I, but uh, maybe maybe it's a guard drake or, or something. I mean, I'm not sure anything else that would try to knock down the door as opposed to just opening it. I assume whoever's inside. Oh, oh, oh! Maybe there's someone trapped in there. Would Is I? A keyhole. Um. Yeah, there is. I'd probably say that you can tell that from a glance. No need to roll perception for it. I'll pe I want you said there's a peephole. I want to peek in. Keyhole. Oh, keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, you could use it a peephole. Mind you, more your size too. Is that a size joke? I want to try and peer through the keyhole. Okay. Do you peer that through? one, your eye gets stuck. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to save all perception to see what you can see in there. Okay. So, let's see. I'd say that the keyhole is probably on this side of the door, so it's going to be quite a thin line of sight. I'd say that you can see this. A few racks of meat hanging down from the ceiling and a dead guard drake towards the back. Can't see what banged against the door though. Possible that they might just be either slightly out of your line of sight or they've moved away just as you came over. But you don't hear anything else for the moment. Can I. Hmm. Can I try to ascertain whether this cold is natural or magical cold? Um, you can, yes. I. <laughs> By what means are you going to do Arcana or are you trying to use the term magic? Um, I guess I could detect magic. It takes 10 minutes. Um, I would. Are you going to spend 10 minutes here? No, I'm not. I don't think we have that. Because you can still hear fighting behind you, just to let you know. <laughs> oh, that yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to last uh, 10 minutes. I, I guess, kind of roll Arcana. You can, yes. Okay, on a 15, I would say that, yeah, you can definitely tell that this is magical cold. Um... There's probably some sort of frost rune in the room that's kind of creating the cold to kind of keep the meat in there chilled. I mean, obviously, uh, the door is quite cold. Yes, that was a reference. Why would there be a living thing in the meat freezer? I... I mean, I don't know how anything could really be alive in there for more than a few minutes. Do I know uh, of like any... Meat. 
Do I know of any animals or beasts that would be able to survive in such a climate? Um, I suppose roll intelligence just to see if I'd be able to discern. Um, nothing immediately springs to mind in this moment. But even from even with the arcana roll, well, with the arcana roll you got, you know that with it being magic cold, it's probably like it's. If the door was this cold on this side of the room, the interior of the room is probably quite a bit colder. I mean, bearing in mind as well, you're not really like just generally you're like the area that you're in is in like this region of the world has a fairly temperate climate so even if there was a creature that could survive in these conditions there probably wouldn't be indigenous to this area unless of course they were brought here with the call whatever's in there it's dangerous I don't think I don't it's think something it's... I could deal with you sure those eggs are black, not white? Absolutely. They're definitely black eggs. Have you seen them? I know of them. I mean, the black the black dragon eggs, I would imagine that they would be any other colour. Even though Leosin's kind of saying this as a partial assumption, he does seem to be fairly convinced that's what he's looking for. Kind of like that he's probably being given this description by somebody else. Uh, so, where? Where would they be hiding these eggs? We've explored all our options. Um... Well, we didn't explore the direction we sent those bats. There seems to be it looks something... like there might be something further on in the cave. Yes, I I do recall that there was an area just to to the north of us. Um, it kind of like slopes oh, down a little bit. Oh. oh, yes, upon first glance, I suppose it does look kind of like that. But uh, no, it seemed to it seemed to slope down. I, I'd say that maybe it might be worth having a look there. Lead on. Yes, yes, uh, of course. For some reason, I suck. I can't. Oh, no. that's fine. Do, 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 do. Okay, so as you look down into this area. This is what you see. Um, it just seems to be piles of rubbish with a few dead bodies mixed in. I mean, there could potentially be something of value down there, but obviously to get a close look, you'd have to go in. Can I tell what kind of bodies? What kind what of bodies? What computer they're using? Okay. Um, I mean, you can tell, like, the cobalt bodies at a glance. I mean, you've seen enough of them at this point to recognize them. Um, you're not sure what this creature is from a cursory glance. You can roll intelligence to see if you might have, like, either seen a picture of them or have encountered them in your travels previously. Uh... On a five, unfortunately, you don't know what this creature is, but all you can tell is that even from here, um, you can't tell if it's this creature specifically or just this room, but something smells really bad. Can I see any orcs? Any orcs? Um, Dead orcs. Oh, any what, sorry? Dead orcs. Dead oh, orcs. Okay. Yeah, I thought that's what you said. Um, are you kind of looking towards um, this direction here? 
Looking all around. Looking all around. Okay, I, I would I say. I have vision, so I can't see that far. Probably. Okay, let me just see what you. Just the the. In the yeah, region, thirty feet is yeah. what you can see. So yeah, um. None you of could... those tokens are orcs, as far as I can tell. No. That, that they are not. Me, meta gaming at this point. I'm asking like, does Gwen see it? No, Gwen does not see neither. It's as is exactly as it appears. There's no orc bodies. Okay. If that's the way, I'm not sure I want to go on. I'm guessing we're gonna have some fun with the well, the remains of the battle in there. Okay. I mean, we might be able to get down here, but I don't see a way up again. Um, just to let you know, it's not as deep as it looks. It's literally just a slight slope down. Like, it's about 10 foot. So, it's so not cliffs. Because this looks no, like no, cliffs. No, they're not cliffs. They're, oh. they're just, as I say, it's about, they're about 10 foot high. Each one. If no one else does see, I'm moving over that way and peering down on that side, seeing what I can see there. Which way are you going, Sideway? Uh, where I moved my token. Okay. It's towards the room, but still on the top of the edge and not into the entrance of the room where we saw the center of that. Are you looking for anything in particular in that room, Gwen? Or are you kind of it's looking to move this way? Trying, yeah, both moving that way, but also trying to see if, if there's anything... Just anything that catches my eye. Uh, down here, you mean? Yeah. Okay, uh, well, investigation. I, uh, actually, if, you can't, if you're kind of like looking into the air, I'd say perception. Okay, actually, you do see something of interest down there. It kind of, like, there's kind of like a bunch of, like, broken boxes in play, but you kind of just see what looks like a sack on its own. So it's kind of out of place because the rest is more boxes, or...? It's out of place just because it's kind of off and separate over now. So it's also got like an embroidery, some embroidery on it. It's kind of, it stands out, it's out of place insofar as in it's just, like it's more decorated, everything else around it is broken. Mm. Oh, he's standing next to me, I'm telling him. That looks interesting. Pointing at the sack. Uh, if I have a quick peek around around it, does anything look like it's keeping an eye on the sack? If it seems to be out in the open by itself. Um, I suppose roll <clears throat> perception to see, to have a look at your surroundings, just to see if anything seems to be. Uh, so as you know, it's it's open season. Let's go down. Let's have a little look at the sack. Just a gentle incline, you said? Yep. Just a gentle incline, like, you can literally just, like, kind of, like, hop down it, and you could probably just climb back up it quite easily. Okay. Robert, do a little hop. Robert does a little hop. Yeah. And he wags his tail a little bit. I give um, him a pet. Ah. Uh, 
Okay. Do you pick up the sack? Uh, yes. I will actually open it rather than pick it up. Okay. Actually, before he can get to it, I'll poke around with my staff. Like, poke the ground near to it. Okay. Uh, nothing, nothing seems to react and nothing to your... Nothing reacts to your poking. Okay, so did you say you open the sack, Arthur? Yes. Did I do? Okay. Um, you open the sack and it oddly smells of fish. Fresh fish, raw fish. I mean, what a fresh do you fish think? or um, rotten fish. Well, it doesn't smell good, so you tell me. I immediately close it back up again. Okay. That's not as nice as it looks. I give it to Robert to carry. <laughs> okay. Um, since we're this close, what kind of embroidery is on it? Um, I'm actually just trying to think how best to describe it. Like, is it a pattern? Is it a picture? It's, it's like a pattern, I would say. Kind of just of... It kind of looks kind of similar to the sort of embroidery you saw back on, like, Sasha's um, stuff at Green Est. Um, just um, a bunch of, just a bunch of flowers, like, um, like, um, just a rose in the centre surrounded by a few daisies. It, uh, it's an exam trick, there's no choice. Uh, what do we generally see, by the way? C is in... If you're kind of like looking towards that part of the room. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just reveal that for you. Um, more dead bodies. More rubbish. But again, there are no orcs there. I'm going to keep moving up a little bit. I want to move towards the nearest body I can see. And then give it a quick look over. Following along. Okay, which body are you looking at? Maybe the one directly next to me. And I can generally see up to there at the moment. Yeah, again, moving towards this creature, it its odour is incredibly offensive. But, yeah, otherwise, um, do you want to search it, see if it's got anything good? To see how it died. To see how it died? Okay, um, roll medicine in that case. Okay, um, you can tell that this was killed in... A rather similar way to the to the bodies that you've seen earlier on, although you're not actually sure whether the cultists lying over there might have killed them. The sword doesn't seem to be the the, the actual wound isn't as deep as the others that you've previously seen. So, in that case, I'm gonna keep shuffling along. Okay. Okay, so we're about to say, yeah, looking here. All over here. Sorry, over where, sorry, Jim? Well, I've got the thing dragged. I can see all that. Oh, I right, say, let me just, uh, I just didn't quite reveal the corners. Boop. 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 Very boopy. Boopy is, corner. Is there anything else I haven't shown? You have not shown over here yet. You're not shown over here. Over here, over here, <laughs> over here. 
I can't actually yeah. see where you're pinging right now. Which one's the left? Oh, <laughs> like, like, like the rooms that you... Yeah, I'm not going... To... Oh, but yeah. I'm just going to reveal the entire map for you at this point. Yeah, um, I think you can see Let all of... You can see all of the corners of this space, I take it, though. Yeah, yes. I'll just uh, make sure that I've got everything. Because it seems to just effectively be a dump. Yeah, it it seems to be mostly a trash heap. I mean, you can obviously try to search around to see if you can find anything more value. But that's up to you. Can I roll a perception, see if anything stands out? Yes, yes you can. Go ahead. It does not see you. Uh, did, uh, okay, okay, I mean, you could case, just I'm do investigation. Uh, I suppose, yes. It's going to investigate this body in front of me, the uh, dragon claw one. Okay. How close this, I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so I'm going to say that you don't find anything on the cultists. However, you do see a pouch off to the right a little bit. Mm -hmm. Do you pick it up? Mm, yes, but I'm very hesitant in case it's fish. Okay, it's only a small pouch this time. A small fish. But, um... Yeah. You open up the pouch and you find... Let's just see... Uh, six citrines. So I'll put the... Sell them into my bag. Yeah. I'd find. Okie dokie. Okay. So, um, do you guys do anything else in this room? Or look around for anything else? Time to get back up to the others? I'm not seeing anything else. Raise up. Right, uh, how is the fight sound like it's going? Okay, so I was just about to get to that. Let me just get this open again. Yeah. So, I would probably say that this, I'm not going to probably move around the tokens too much. I'll just kind of describe the result. So it seemed that the Sturges decided to mostly concentrate on the kobolds as they look, well, on the kobolds up on the ridge as they looked a little bit more vulnerable than the ones with the shield or the guy in armor. Um, as a result, I would say through the combined efforts, they managed to kill at least one of them. So let me just uh, knock that one out. Just calculate how much damage they did to the others. So I'd say that took those two off. I'd say that these two probably died. This one is probably down to about I'd say about this much. I'm not, not going to tell you exactly how much health they have and you know, this one over here probably also took this much Oops, Daisy we're going and um, yeah I'd say that this last one unfortunately didn't achieve very much I'd say that this one took a little bit probably about this much so yeah the you could probably tell at a cursory glance that the guys on the ledge are looking a little bit worn down from the fight although the guys on the front line still look very look very much up um i'd say as you get up there the last of the sturges have been eliminated and uh, this guy is kind of moving up 
just trying to get the kobolds to their feet. And these two guys, one of them is, well, yeah, I would say that they're both just um, kind of like looking up towards here, so they can only have their backs to you. I would probably say I would draw my crossbow looking at all this. We've got to move into the last place. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, can I just ask, by the way, how much longer do you guys want to go for? It's about 20 past 10 now. Preferably not much. I mean, I can. We can end it. I'm here fairly you... tired, so it probably seems like I'm getting pretty really tired. I was going to say, yeah. if you're going to fight crossbow, you're probably going to get to a combat, which obviously mm -hmm. you don't want to start if you are tired already. Yeah, might be a good stopping point. Yeah, no, no super dramatic cliffhanger this week. It's a little bit mundane, fortunately. And the kobold goes down on one knee to his partner and goes, "I love you." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so scared. I, they came out of nowhere. Okay. So, um, just trying to think if there's actually anything else. Uh, you know what? I actually do have something. God. Arthur, quickly make a perception check. Or actually, just any of you who are in this room, just... Oh god. Nine. Okay, I, I gave you... No, you know what, I'm actually going to give you each a chance to notice this, because <laughs> this is something that... So, Arthur kind of neglected to notice when you are in the room that there were very small crawl holes kind of littered along the side. And as you kind of, like, leave this area, you notice something coming out of several of them. I'd probably say that they're big enough for these guys to get through, and... You know the big guy from the cage? Uh, survived! There you go. And... I don't want him. Out of the other two holes, you see the shaman looking dude. And let me just see who else was here. And, uh. And then, uh, just, um. A couple of Korean grunts and a couple of cobalt scale sorcerers. All kind of emerge from there. Not really looking towards you guys just yet, but yeah, seem to have found a way out of that collapsing room, and that's where so we're was they just come from. Oh, sorry? Where is, where is the... Oh, sorry, let me just... Yeah, I just was being a bit lazy, not moving the tokens. <laughs> I'll do that for you now. So I know which room. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, it's also... Because I kind of had them on this part of the map, so... Copy state. Just because I kind of have to put them here. It's kind of like along the back walls. So I'm just going to... Yeah, the big guy admittedly had quite a lot of trouble squeezing into that space. Just about managed it. Uh, I'll just grab this guy for now. Right. 
saying is that he kept taking damage every single time he moved. Um, he's now half dead. I mean, I'm not going to say half dead. I mean, to be Definitely. fair, he was also fighting, like, guys in the cave. So, yeah, they kind of, like, it was along this part of the wall. Can you see them all now? Yeah, I can, yes. So, yeah, they look like they took damage, though. Like, they didn't good. get out of their unscathed. I'm not that cruel. Good, 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 good. But, yeah, you've now got a threat potentially on two fronts. Maybe even three, you don't know. Good, 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 good. And that's where we'll end things for right now. I appreciate you. I've got some rotten fish. I mean, you could do, but you'll miss because I'm not there. I'm just uh, the malevolent voice that guides the universe. Or this one, anyway. So, anyway, uh, thank you very much, guys, for uh, for watching, and uh, speak to you guys next time. Bye. 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 See you.